So I'm just getting out to a call uh, for a diagnostics for no heat on this train XC1000 heat pump. It's a much older system. It's an R22 system. Um, but it's one of those calls that I'm doing right now where you can pretty much pull the panel off and almost instantly can recognize what's going on um, or at least part of what's going on. So pretty much when I pulled the panel off, um, just kind of doing a quick visual inspection before I tried to turn it on, I quickly saw this uh, run capacitor is all bubbled up on the top. So it's, it's bad and it's kind of all, um, the internal is basically when it bursts like that, it just makes them go bad. Um, so that's a pretty quick visual indication when you see this, this thing on the top bubbled like that you know almost instantly it's bad i've seen a couple where um i've actually had good reading still even though it's bubbled but you can tell it's just it's acting goofy so i mean it's probably like an intermittently going out type of deal so anytime you even see it bubbled i just recommend always replacing it um this one um i tested i pulled the leads off and tested capacitance with my meter and it definitely is bad um this particular one is a dual capacitor, so it's actually helping run the compressor. It's, um, and it's also helping run the condensing fan motor. Occasionally you get sites where you'll see um, two separate capacitors in here. I feel like I see the dual capacitor much more often, um, but sometimes I have seen where it has its own run capacitor for the compressor and then its own run capacitor for the condensing fan motor. Um, like I said, not the case here, but I have seen both ways. Um, and with this going out, um, if it's been out for a long time and this thing's been continually trying to run, the compressor well can trip out on um, internal overload usually, and then it'll lock itself out. Um, I've also seen where condensing fan motors have burned up from it trying to start over and over again and not having that run capacitor to help get it started. Um, this particular site uh, has a lot of units here. So what I've seen on some of these sites that have a lot of units, um, unless it gets like to really, really cold or really, really hot, the units around it kind of help support the area that they're treating and it can go unnoticed for a while. <clears throat> so if you can catch this pretty quickly, usually you're kind of, you're good to go with just putting in a new uh, dual capacitor here but occasionally if it can go unseen for an extended period of time like I've seen multiple months if not years where this has been one of these run capacitors have been bad and then it basically just from trying over and over and over again it basically will burn up the motors and that turns into a much more pricey repair um, so right now I mean this is an older system um, and I think that based on the readings I got, I'm gonna be good with just doing just the dual capacitor. Uh, like I said, I'll put in a universal typically. Um, we'll have to get approval from this site before we can do anything. So in the meantime, I'll put a, a, a tag in here, just stating what I found, dating it, all that kind of stuff. I put my name on it. Uh, just that way if they drag their feet with it and we come back out later, um, our other technician comes out later on, um, they can quickly just see, hey, this thing's already been written up, this is what's going on, rather than wasting time to re-diagnose it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks.